so I've started some seedlings indoors in preparation for the coming spring. Outside things are still looking very white and cold, but it's important to get a head start on things. This year I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently, and I'm going to try to use some coco guar to transplant the seedlings into. This was left behind by the previous owners of the house, so it was really no expense to me. Coco coir is a byproduct of harvesting coconuts. It's the outer husk, and they compress it down into brick format for transport. It's usually sold as an alternative to using peat moss. So once you get it, you have to soak it in water to loosen it up again, and then it's easiest when you get your hands in there and start to break it apart. I did find it took a bit more work than I expected to actually break it down. There's a lot of chunks that get together, but what you're left with is a nice medium to grow with or a good amendment to your soil. A good advantage that coco coir has over peat moss is the pH value. It's fairly neutral at around 5.8 to 6.8, whereas peat moss is a little lower around that 3.5 to 4.5 range. I ran a test myself and I found that it landed pretty much in the sweet spot between 5.5 and 6.5. The next step would be to add the coir to the 3.5 inch pot and then add your seedlings into that. This year I'm a little more well prepared because I think last year my plants were a bit stunted because I didn't allow a large enough pot for them to grow into. I should also note that I'm using coir for this because these plants will go into hydroponic systems and I'll be watering with a nutrient solution. Some of these will be transferred to soil, but I just wanted to point out if you're growing in 100% coir, you're going to need some nutrients to help them out. That's about it for this episode, so thanks for watching.